What is going on YouTube? It's Tyler from Mission VR, where it's my mission to bring you guys good quality VR content. So today, I've got a great video for you. We are gonna be talking about five game franchises that we really wanna see come out with either a standalone VR title or allow crossplay in some of these games. Now, obviously, these five game franchises are pretty well known, and for the most part, if you're a gamer, you've definitely heard of them. But that being said, I do wanna go over some things that, you know, we'd love to see in those games and some, you know, news regarding maybe possible, you know, things that are in the works regarding that. So definitely stick around. And if you guys could, please like and subscribe to my channel. Those of you that have, thank you so much. I'm growing so fast. I'm having a great time bringing you guys content. And man, I cannot believe how fast my channel is growing. I'm really thrilled about it. You guys are great, awesome. Uh, thank you guys all so much for liking and subscribing. And definitely, if you have not joined the Discord, join my Discord. I, I play with a lot of the community in multiplayer games all the time, having a good time doing it. And plus, I also throw updates and will be doing giveaways there in the future. So definitely join the Discord, like and subscribe to my channel, and let's go ahead and hop on into this video. All right, guys, and with the first pick on our list, we have Halo in virtual reality. And yes, every single one of us really, really want some form of Halo content in virtual reality. And there are some options, but unfortunately there is nothing official that has come out of any major developer or studio that is indicating that they're working on any official Halo VR projects. But there is some options for us. Number one, and probably the most popular, actually, is a newer mod from Contractors, uh, a virtual reality shooter that, you know, is pretty good, and if you've ever played it, it feels a lot like Call of Duty. The reloading is awesome, and, you know, the gunplay is pretty good in the game. It's overall a very solid game, and I will actually link a uh, video that I did on contractors up in the card above you right now. Uh, however, they have come out with a Halo VR mod, which dresses everybody up as Spartans, gives you a variety of Halo maps and a bunch of Halo weapons, and you can run around and basically shoot each other like you would back in the old Team Deathmatch days of Halo 3. So yeah, that's pretty exciting and honestly, it is awesome. So that's definitely probably the most popular and there's also a modder that it worked on Alien Isolation that is trying and having some success building Halo Reach from the ground up for virtual reality. Obviously, it'll probably be mostly campaign gameplay as you know, Halo Reach is an older game now, but he is working on motion controller support and various other features that are gonna make you really feel like you're playing through the Halo Reach campaign in VR, which is super exciting. So fingers crossed, maybe we'll get lucky and we will get a full Halo VR experience that actually comes officially from the developers of the Halo games, which would be absolutely amazing if we could get a from the ground up VR experience or even one of their newer Halo games to have crossplay with VR compatibility. I know I'm just dying to get my hands on a battle rifle and just mow somebody down in virtual reality or even better yet i'd love to sneak up on somebody with an energy sword an official energy sword not like the ones in contractors so all right and with the next pick on our list here we have assassin's creed and guys good news coming down the pipeline Ubisoft is working on a full built from the ground up Assassin's Creed game for virtual reality. Now, what does that mean exactly? We don't know yet. We have very little details, if any at all, other than the fact that they are working on something. My really, really big hope is, is that this is a full virtual reality game and not just a two hour Assassin's Creed-esque experience because I think that would do the fan base a huge disservice as a lot of us have played many of the Assassin's Creed games, and I would tell you what, I would love to get my hands, literally hands on some hidden blades in virtual reality and you know go about stealthily assassinating people. So yes, pretty excited about this announcement that Ubisoft came out with. I know it's gonna be a pretty well-built game. I know it's backed by Oculus. It's gonna be an Oculus exclusive, you know, hopefully only for a little bit of time for everyone else. And there also is software to run games that if you're not on an Oculus Rift. So that is good news. And I just hope and pray that it's not going to be a 
just VR experience, but rather a full virtual reality fledged out game. Right now, currently, all we have that's kind of similar to that is Unnightly, which is more of a stealthy base game, but not in the set in the Assassin's Creed universe, obviously. And then there's obviously some blade and sorcery mods that you can download that I guess kind of give you the Assassin's Creed vibe a little bit, but nothing fully concrete. And this is definitely one to keep your eye on for the future. All right, and with the next pick on this list, we have the Hunter series, and more specifically, I would say the Hunter Call of the Wild. This game, if you've ever played it and you're into hunting games, is a fantastic game. There is so much to do in this game, and it really does give you the sense of hunting. And it's just honestly, there's some patience that are required in this game. There's traps there's you know all these different things and elements in this game that really do create a ton of replay value for a screen game and honestly right now all they really need to do is implement vr support with the motion controllers and the game would be no different than it is right now and i think that a lot of people would really love to dive into this game in virtual reality i know hunting season only comes around you know for a brief couple months of the year and many people are starving and really want to go hunt you know all throughout the year so definitely this would be an amazing vr adaptation the graphics are absolutely beautiful on it and i would love to see the hunter call of the wild implement vr gameplay into their game and i guess it'd probably be pretty difficult to make a from the ground up uh the hunter vr game because i just don't know how many people are really looking for a, a hunting vr game but this would be an absolutely awesome place for the developer to come out and make either you know an update that allows you to play in vr or for maybe a modder to come out and bring vr support to the hunter call of the wild i think this would be an absolutely brilliantly fun game to play in virtual reality because we just really don't have any good vr hunting games at least none that i know of if you guys know of a really good vr hunting game that i just haven't heard of drop that in the comment section but i'm pretty sure that there is none that i know about so all right guys and with the next pick on this list we have Star Wars Battlefront. Yes, we did just get a AAA Star Wars game that added VR. Thank God at least they're thinking about us a little bit and the game is pretty solid. But ultimately, sitting in the cockpit, you know, and dueling in a uh, X-Wing or TIE Fighter just quite isn't exactly what I know many people are looking for. We're want to be boots on the ground in the trenches of Hoth, you know, fighting off the Imperial invasion. And yeah, boy, would that be awesome. And I just don't see any reason why the developers for that game can't, you know, come out and just add VR support, you know, make it cross play with the, the regular screen games. I mean, if look, they want to make it a competitive thing. Well, you may not be as competitive in VR. I mean, do we really know that? I mean, I feel like I can be pretty competitive in a shooter, you know, even with people playing on a keyboard and mouse. Maybe I won't be. Who knows? I don't know because there's not that many games that are cross play available that are shooters like that. So I think that they should add cross play to it for VR users because I'll tell you what, even if I am not competitive, just to be in the ambiance of the Battle of Kashyyyk or, you know, the Battle of Hoth and be there and really just be shooting out the trench and just being in that battle, man, I can't wait. I really want them to add that. You know, I know Star Wars Battlefront 2 kind of doesn't have that much support anymore, and maybe they'll be bringing out a Battlefront 3 somewhere down the line, but I'd really hope that they find a way to integrate VR support for that game because I think many people are just craving VR in Star Wars and none other than, you know, a game with graphics that good and battles that really feel like Star Wars battles. Boy, would it really be cool to immerse yourself into the headset and just be there and be present during one of those battles. Whether you're competitive or not, I mean, I personally like to play competitive shooters and I would absolutely try and I do believe that full full heartedly that I would be competitive against somebody with a keyboard and mouse in VR, but who knows? Maybe not, but either way, I'd still want to play it. I'd still want to be there, you know, in person. I don't really care that much. So, definitely something to consider if you are into it and Star Wars Battlefront would be an amazing candidate for VR support. All right, and finally, is it any real surprise that this next one is going to be Call of Duty in VR? I mean, we all know there's plenty of good VR shooters out there right now, but wouldn't it be amazing to just get crossplay Call of Duty, the official Call of Duty game with crossplay VR support? I think that would be incredible. Or even hell, I would take some of the older Call of Duty games, you know, that had VR mods on them just so I could replay through the campaigns, like specifically Modern Warfare 2 and, you know, the whole Modern Warfare series, really. I would love to play through that campaign in VR. And, you know, if they got, oh, well, you know, reloading is going to be a challenge. 
Not really. I mean, honestly, look at what Population 1 did. They have the most simple reloading mechanics ever. The mag just, you know, is highlighted, and all you got to do is push the mag in and, you know, pull the bolt back on your rifle. So I think that they could do something like that if reloading's an issue, but... Ultimately, man, would I love to play through some of the old Call of Duty campaigns in virtual reality. It would be pretty awesome. And maybe even, you know, if they were able to do crossplay again, just like we just talked about in Battlefront. You know, I know some people are crazy good at Call of Duty, like ridiculous reflex and stuff, and that's certainly not me, but I do feel like I'd be able to hold my own in virtual reality. But again, I don't know because there's really no crossplay VR shooters, so maybe people in VR would just be getting smoked all the time. I don't know. I don't really care. I would just like to be able to play a major AAA game that everybody looks forward to every year in VR because it would be pretty awesome. So. Well guys, that is it for this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to my channel. I'm having a great time bringing you guys content. You know, if you guys feel that there's another game, you know, or game franchise that you really, really want to see in VR, drop that in the comment section below. I'd love to hear what you guys are excited for. I know I'm pretty excited and I hope that as VR continues to grow, that some of these big game franchises don't just miss an opportunity because I mean, I know a lot of people are so enthusiastic about VR and as it stands right now with Oculus Quest 2 and you know newer headsets coming out, the next couple years is going to be a major expansion period for virtual reality users. And I really do hope that game devs consider making most of their games cross-play where you could play it on a screen or you could play it in VR, similar to how Phasmophobia is. There's no reason why more games can't do that. And I think that it definitely gives people that really just want to play in VR, like myself and probably a lot of you, the option to play some of these major games in virtual reality. So. Make sure you guys drop a like and a sub on my channel, and I will see you in the next one.